L3 Aviation Products has unveiled its new Lynx ADSB Out avionics suite for Part 23 airplanes and smaller helicopters. The Lynx Multi Link Surveillance System includes three Lynx remote mounted single solution boxes and the NGT 9000 ADSB Out in transceiver with built in touchscreen display. L3 Chief Pilot Todd Skolton gave AIN TV a demonstration of the NGT 9000 Plus with Wi Fi in the company's Bonanza aircraft at Hawthorne Airport in California. So the NGT 9000 Plus, which we have installed in this aircraft, really is an all-in-one single box that does the 1090 ADS-B in and out, UAT, which is 978 in and out, has its own internal um, WASP compliant GPS, and so it, it really is a natural choice for the operator that wants to be compliant, no altitude restriction that covers the altitude aircraft that fly 18,000 feet above. It's also good for the aircraft that fly below 18,000. So it really is a logical choice uh, for the operator that needs to be, uh, wants to become ADSB compliant to meet the 2020 mandate. And we're doing a ground demo that will show a little bit of the features, but on the left side of the screen we have your basic transponder functions. Um, you can punch in a transponder code, simple as that. Back to a VFR squawk. Once we've input uh, our desired uh, transponder code, we can swipe over and have our traffic page. And activate our traffic on the ground here so we can see what's out there. Zoom out, we'll see that uh, we're in LA, there's a lot of traffic, a mix of uh, TAS traffic and ADSP traffic. On the right side of the screen is our radar page and our airplane symbols that as we receive the FISB data, the colors will uh, fill in based on the uh, METARs. It's VFR today, so we'll see the, uh, the VFR colors come in here uh, in a couple of minutes. Take a look at this airport here. The METARs come up. I believe there's a tap at that airport, and if there was, it would uh, show here. So no TAMs, no no TAMs are available. It could be that the data has not come in yet. There's an air met there for turbulence. So I highlighted the air met, went to the info button, and the data came up on the left side of the screen there. On the right side, we have winds and temperature aloft. I know there's there's no wind data that uh, that came in. You can change the altitude here. Pretty simple. You can select the temperatures here. So on this display we have the option of displaying temperature or winds aloft. And on the last page is all our text information. You can program favorite airports in. data in for Deer Valley. There's Deer Valley Phoenix weather. And again the same products, METAR, TAF, and NOTAM. Or we can put in the identifier. We're at uh, Hawthorne. And there's the METAR for Hawthorne. And that's a quick overview. We do have some setting options here. Pilot can decide uh, what products he'd like displayed on the map. Declutter feature. Each one of the products can be scaled up or down based on uh, the distance that they would like to see that displayed. So that's uh, pilot selectable. This is a 1090 Mode S ES transponder. 1090 in and out ADSB. 978 UAT in. So you get the benefit of the, uh, the traffic and the weather. It has its own uh, compliant WASP GPS internal and there is also the uh, option for the uh, TAS system all in this unit. There's no remote boxes we do need a uh, WASP GPS antenna. Typically we can reuse the uh, L-band antenna for the UAT and the transponder function. If TAS is enabled uh, we do need a directional antenna on the aircraft and that directional antenna can uh, work as the diversity antenna if uh, diversity is um, 
is desired with the units. The Wi-Fi module wired to the NGT9000 allows connection to the Wing X Pro 7 app running on a tablet device. This allows viewing traffic and weather data on a larger screen and can also be useful for passengers. If you'd like to try the NGT9000 for yourself, a fully interactive demo can be found on the L3 website or as an app for your mobile device.